Bull is a play by Mike Bartlett. Um, it is set in an office, a corporate uh, world, in which a team of three are awaiting their boss to come in and decide who's going to go to create a team of one. Uh, two. Two. One person's going to go. One person's going to go. Two people get to stay. It's a very important part of the plot. <laughs> I'll try and remember that for tonight. <laughs> it's essentially about bullying in the workplace, uh, but the metaphor is uh, a bullfight. Um, and so by the time I come on stage, which is later in the piece, the, the bull has already been sort of nullified by, um, by their sort of stabbing the metaphorical stabs of the words into him. I play Tony, I'm another one of the employees, sort of, there's three of us fighting to save our jobs. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm just another employee uh, trying to survive. I play Isabel. Isabel is the only woman in, the, in this particular group and in this cast. Um, she is a good game player and she's good at her job. And, she's, and this play is all about gameplay and sparring and, hmm. and dynamics and, and that she has in, in bucket loads. Apart from that, you don't really know much about her, which is sort of the point. I play Thomas, who is uh, a member of the, the team of three. <clears throat> and uh, I suppose the best thing to describe him is, is that he is the bull. Uh, he probably doesn't know this at the beginning. In the same way that a bull doesn't know it's a... <laughs> a bull in a bullfight when it runs into the crowded ring. And uh, it kind of has to learn that that's what's going on. It's a different thing when you're little and it's, um, and it's out and out there bullying. And sometimes this play really teaches into that sort of school ground, you know, place. And you can see it in people in the audience. They kind of get really like, it starts to remind them of experiences they might have had in the past. And yeah. they start to lean back from the, you know, from the bars here. And um, you can sense it's, it in the uh, room. It's definitely something everyone can relate to. Yeah. That's what's so but the uh, older you clever get, about what Mike's written. Yeah, the more sophisticated that the bullying techniques get. The buzzword that we were using at the moment is deniability. So amongst the myself and, uh, and the character that Eleanor plays, Isabel, um, I think we want to try and make our bullying appear to be far less apparent um, and far more reasonable so that the audience is slightly more conflicted as to what they're bearing witness to. Is it actually bullying or are they being perfectly reasonable and mm. is Sam's character being out of order here? Um, Which actually makes it even more uncomfortable to watch. And I think that's, that's the kind of bullying that is happen <coughs> happens more regularly in the adult world. It's only 50 minutes long. <laughs> it's really short. Really? It, it couldn't be any longer. <laughs> it would make you feel a bit, a bit yeah. sick. It's quite a ride. It's quite a ride and I think it'll give you a great a great beginning to the evening. Yeah. I think. This play Down is like a shot. It's like a shot of tequila Wallop. rather than a long drink. It's just, it'll just a big yeah. smack in the face. I think they can expect to find it very funny, awful, bruising, uh, moving uh, and emotional and thought provoking. It's such a uh, cliched a word mm. to attach to any piece of theatre, but I genuinely believe that in this case. I think it really provokes a lot of those emotions. Um, and it's very visceral because of yeah. what you can see by virtue of being in amongst the action. And as we mentioned earlier, complicit in it to some degree. Yeah, I mean, as Adam said, some people do get very upset by it, which is great, you know, that, that in a sense. It's great to upset people. Well, it's, it's great in the sense that they've been moved so much. It's, it's good to go and see a piece of theatre that actually, you know, and people have real strong opinions about it, definitely. Which Often, is great. though, Neil just upsets people. That's I was been described our as the most hated man in the theatre the other day, oh. which I can assure oh. you is not the first time oh. I've been described that Oh, least. goodness. Oh, it's gone and taken a funny turn, the interview. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's become therapy. Carter, sorry, Carter. Uh, oh, Carter, Carter right, not yeah, Neil Stewart. No, no. no. Oh, thank goodness. Well, I got a bit hot then for a second. Yeah.